option to be had. <clears throat> so, hey guys, what's going on? This is Background Noise, episode 296 of Background Noise. We are joined by uh, what I like to call the elite squad of amazing killers. Uh, Isak. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, you know, it. That's I did say it was going to be a good acronym. Maybe we'll just keep. Anyway, so we're joined. <laughs> so I am obviously here. We have Brecken. Hello. And we have Chance. What's up? So, <laughs> pre podcast, we we're actually just discussing. Discuss. Wow, words. All right. Ta- tag me up. All right, I'm back in. All right. Yep, yep. <laughs> we were talking about uh, IGLs and Counter Strike. Um, Chance was just. Chance, you just want to quickly go back through what you were talking about? Oh, okay, so, like, specifically, uh, after Astralis beat NRG today, Thor was making the point of, like, how is it possible, pretty much, you know, Glaive just kind of came out of nowhere, like, yeah, he was popular at the beginning of Fiesco for, like, two seconds, and then he kind of just fell off and was on, like, tier seven teams for, like, three years. Yeah. Until he just, uh, what, what was it, that he went on to Heroic or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so he right played beforehand? for Heroic, um, and then I think his big break came when Astralis had a major where um, they had a lot of, like, illness. Didn't, yeah. like, Device miss, like, part of the major? Dupree, I think, missed no, the no, entire no, no. major. Glaive was already on the team when, when Device Glaive? missed part of the major. Uh, okay, because I know Glaive stood yeah, in like Glaive's one major. first major, I think. Um, okay. I think it was his first major, like, with the team. Okay, because Glaive was a te- technically a stand-in at first yeah. Um, yeah, 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 for yeah. a major, and that was the major that I th- maybe Dupree was gone the entire time. I think so. Because I know so. that... Because there was one where Dupree was gone, and there was one where Device was gone. Because I... Maybe maybe I'm, I'm mixing them up, because I know... Yeah, because I know that they had to play with... Du- uh, with without Dupree... Maybe I'm wrong, because may- I remember Zonic... And yeah, uh, Glaive the, the playing, Sonic but maybe one, Zonic yeah, was Sonic when was Device was when out. Glaive was already on the team, because that was when Device was okay. sick. Zonic filled in for Device, Glaive was already on the team, and they kind of got smashed. So, that makes their record even better, because this is going to be their, like, this is going to be his sixth major with the team, okay? It's going to be their fourth major win when they win it tomorrow, because they're going to. Yeah. And one of those majors, Device was gone, like, they're pretty much their best player was gone, and... They had their coach stand in who hasn't played competitively in a very long time. Probably so like 1.6. <laughs> yeah. So that was completely excusable. So it's like it's so fucking amazing how he just kind of exploded out of nowhere mm. to be pretty much the top IGL or one of the top IGLs. That's sort of what I want to talk to talk about as well is that like I, I know like when it comes to like history and stuff, people oftentimes like sports or anything. Uh, we'll talk about, like, how the person that's now is the best of all time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but if he wins four major, this fourth major as an in-game leader, that is the most majors ever won by an in-game leader. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, he's tied with Pronax, who has three. And Pronax isn't... It's not even like Pronax was ever, like, a great in-game leader. Like, yeah, he was good. He um, he did have the world's best players at the time. Yeah, that's but what I was going to say. It's like, like you could also say that Glaive, for uh, this run, has had some I, of the world's best players as well. I can agree that, like, Glaive has some of the world's best players, but at a tactical level... Yeah, like, no, There's I, no one that definitely. can compare to Astralis. Like, if you... Like, specifically when I was watching... Like, watching them on Overpass is just so interesting like especially earlier today um they were reading everything nrg did like a book and it wasn't even like nrg was doing the same thing every round okay like specifically uh i remember one round where they i want to say it was a triple fake where they ended up going b um where they just knew exactly where exactly how long it was going to take everyone to rotate knew exactly the right time to run like literally i forget who was rotating off nrg like off of b site um right when he stepped out of uh like the distance that he would have been able to hear them in water they started full sprinting yeah it was like absolutely wild how like on point their strategies are and also like if you watch clave play specifically like yeah he's not a great like frag or anything but like He's e- for an in-game leader, though. He's actually yeah, very he's good. Yeah, he's really good for an in-game leader. But like, you know, um, 
And also, I was going to say, to talk more about so um, Astralis' uh, teamwork to level, you got to remember, like, uh, when they were dominant on Nuke, how they were so smart that they could... So, Brecken to... So, Nuke is one of the maps in Counter-Strike. Yes, I remember um, that one. Awesome. So, there's an <laughs> A-bomb site and a B-bomb site. On A, leading to A, there's a door we refer to as Squeaky. Because it makes a squeaky noise. That's really why it's called squeaky. All right. Um, and then below at the B-bomb site, there's double doors that I guess I usually refer to them as double doors. Mm-hmm. And Astralis opened both doors at the exact same time. So they had no idea that the doors lower were open. Because the guys <laughs> on A saw squeaky. Because the way B works on Nuke is you don't actually usually play on the site. There's a ramp that leads to it, and you play it on there, so they wouldn't be like on looking at that. So like their teamwork was so perfectly timed that they exactly. opened the doors at the same exact time, flanked and killed everyone else. That sounds really impressive. It's, it, they have just like the best synergy ever. Yeah, it's, and it's funny too because like when you watch them, okay, like if you're watching like the, the face cams and stuff. They'll, it's not even like they're like talking through it and like saying exactly what's gonna happen at exactly what time. They're literally no, just like they just know. No. They've got that psychic. Yeah, yeah. They it's, just it's have some, like. Didn't you say that you guys have that kind of? Yeah, they have it yeah, to like a god level, level though. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like they can literally probably sit at a restaurant. Like it, it'd be like me and Tony sitting at a restaurant and. The server comes over, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I know what Tony's getting. And I, t- and I tell her. And, it's and we just exactly order for fine, each other, you know? and it's perfect. Yeah. Like, who's they to are, say you won't one day? They're on a whole other level. <laughs> who's to say? Brecken said, who's to say he won't one day? Uh, one day. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I'm going to steal your man. Uh, get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, like, a really dumb question. Um, What's up? So, I'm starting to learn some of the CS players just from the ones that Tony showed me, and they tend to mm-hmm. be, like, popular streamers. Yeah, that's... Yeah, a lot of them. I'm getting, the, like, I don't know out of, like, who you've showed me, but how many tend to be, like, IGL? Is that a popular none. thing to Usually, watch? Usually, uh, typically Dude, none. Never. Really? Uh, yeah, the bigger... So... There's only really one who's a former pro, which would be Steel. Yeah. He's a gr- great IGL, but... He only started streaming once he couldn't play professionally anymore. Yeah, so that's that's why. But like yeah. out of like the top tier uh, in-game leaders, the person that streams the most is Fallen, probably. And it's and not even like it's he not often. That often. Um, uh... Yeah, because it maybe in-game leaders. Because um, like to be an in-game leader, t- like the typical in-game leader isn't as skilled, fragging wise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. people often tune into the Twitch streams to see some crazy kills. Exactly. Yeah. That's why people watch like Stewie and Shroud and Summit back when Summit played a lot of Counter Strike. Oh, totally, um, totally makes sense. It's like more or less like the whenever um, I hear people talk about like the teamwork aspect, mm-hmm. I'm just like, yeah, but isn't the IGL like super responsible for keeping 100%. that smooth? Oh, one hundred percent. And the world of Counter Strike, though, absolutely. I, as like I know, I am in game leading at a very low level, <laughs> but. Yeah. Um, IGLs totally never get the respect they deserve. Oh, um, and they're often the first one thrown aside. Seriously? Uh, only, yeah, one hundred percent. Always. Whenever something goes wrong, a lot of so times, IGL gets thrown out. They get the blame. Yeah. I don't understand though. Like that's such a more like if you can't really look at them by like the frags because again that's not their objective. Mm-hmm. It's literally like the cohesion, and then you're just like, oh, you know, we didn't perform. Instead of like looking at like the individual parts, they. Just yeah. throw the whole fucking guy out? Yeah, most of the time. Um, Pretty much. Yeah. It's... That sounds like absolutely thankless. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, fuck that. Yeah. Just so say, why, like, do you think, even... why do you think I've complained so often about having a game lead? <laughs> I, I, it just like, came to my attention, too, because like the news was this morning that Vitality and MDK, MDK yeah. which is their in-game, in-game leader. leader. And like right when they fucking get knocked out of the major, they're like, okay, you're gone. Yeah. Usually they get the brunt of the blame yeah, for it's... a loss. If you're winning, okay, you get all the credit. You get a lot of credit, but you don't get as much as you should. Because mm-hmm. um, a lot of that's given to whoever the star player is that game. Like whoever has the most frags, pretty much, or the highest ADR. Um, it really depends. Like you have to be on a complete another level tactically, like Glaive, you know, to really get 
the credit you deserve. Because I feel like Glaive gets the credit he deserves. Glaive just does, because, yeah. Because like it's so far advanced, but so many of them don't. Well, that's like the only reason. Because this is like a super dirty thing. I'm more into like the tactical, like strategic aspect. I am. That's why like, I, I like the game. To be honest, <laughs> but, like I totally watch a guy like talking step by step, like his what he's anticipating the other team to do you would like, like yeah. steel like then steel. when he's not raging because i showed her steel yeah. steel was one of the guys who was oh, in that rage compilation no. yeah is he like Mo? no no so <laughs> similar uh they used to be best friends and play all the time no. together yeah. on a team together remember how i told you that uh-uh. so i showed her one of the classic videos that had steel mo and dazed in it yeah and i'm like Which all one? three of them actually played Mo-Pay. together yeah you did say that <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I I really hope you show her one day Mo and Pit with the off on us too. Uh, Remember that one where rem- he misses like shots me. and he's like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Okay. And Steel is just like cackling. I gotta restart my computer. <laughs> I gotta restart my computer. I don't mind like the cackling, like trolley kind of like, oh fuck you, and then they laugh. But like, so, I don't like whiny. No, Mo Steel, is whiny. Mo is super Steel is whiny. Steel is super whiny too, though. But, yeah. I like. I actually really like Steel, though. I know Chance mm-hmm. does too. Um, when you're when you're watching him like play, like if he's fucking around, like he kind of whines as like a joke. But yeah. when they used to stream like actual games and mm-hmm. stuff, it was just so interesting to watch him because like sometimes he would even just like say things to himself that you could like slightly audibly hear and be like he'd like fucking be like oh, he's gonna be like three seconds and then he'd be like three two one and someone would peek yeah. and get the kill you know like it was just like so on another level steel has an amazing brain for the game but steel look i think i'm going to mention when we're watching the video steel was amongst the i buy i buy power players who got banned for throwing oh so he's shit. done okay. for for um valve sponsored tournaments for life which include the major That's which means it is uh but which means that no top tier organization will ever touch him, oh. um, because they would have to field a different lineup if they wanted to try to make the major. Which he was most recently on the team called Ghost, and Ghost would play with their coach every time, and they just wouldn't come close to the major. They would get knocked out in the NA qualifiers. Which that is also partly because, it, like, one, like it's very hard to replace a new game yeah. leader like that, um, especially just swap it out for like a couple games. Mm. But two, just because. He feels an in-game leader, but he's also, like, very strong in terms of actual performance. Yeah. Like you know, he's strong enough that rare. it makes a difference. Um, Steel very much could, like, fill a fragging role on the team. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why, like... So, North American Counter-Strike has been a meme in Counter-Strike forever, because um, back in the day, it was the complexity lineup that turned the Cloud9... Um, and then I buy power, and these were the only two teams in all of North America that could keep, come even close to taking ten rounds off of a European yeah. team. Oh, yeah. Every yeah, other North bad. American team would get trashed. They'd be lucky if they got five rounds. <laughs> oh. I remember when it was a big deal that like more than one North American team made it out of groups at a major. Yeah. You know, like I remember. It was, yeah. It, 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 it's been a wild ride because like when I first started watching, it was. The North American teams were all absolute trash. Um, even even if, like, watching North American leagues and stuff, like, watching on Twitch yeah. when they had matches, it would be, like, 5,000 people watching. Um, huh. And you would never know who was going to win because people were just all on the same terrible level. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, there was no one really that stood out besides, like, I buy power. Yeah. Even I buy power, they would go to majors and stuff. I remember one of the first majors I... I uh, I watched. They went out in groups, and yeah. afterwards, like HLTV, which is the Counter Strike news website. I don't know if I you have know it about always, Brecken. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so on HLTV, like every single post was uh, calling "I buy power, I buy plane tickets." Yeah. <laughs> um, and shit like that. Like they were just constantly berated until probably like the cloud that Cloud Nine summer was really. When it stopped, which wasn't even... What was that, 2017? Oh, the, the summer of Cloud9? Or do you mean, like, the major win? Or do you mean way before no, then? No, no, no. The, 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 the summer, summer of Cloud9 was, was like, 2015. Okay, I don't even remember. Yeah. Either way, um, that, was, that was pretty much the turning point when people were like, okay, NA could be And do you know what's really funny about the summer of Cloud9? Mm-hmm. They, didn't re- they didn't win any of the tournaments. Oh. 
No, nope, they just came in second. A few times. Much. Yeah, they came yeah. in second in a lot of <laughs> tournaments. I think they won once, and it was one where, like, no top teams were Yeah, there. I think they won, they, like, an NA LAN or something. Yeah. But they um, sure showed they up. Came, <laughs> yeah. They came in second to, like, all the other teams yeah. that were they really lost good. to, um, so at the time, the team we were just talking about before was Strawless. Okay. Their core used to be on a team called TSM. Um, and TSM was one of, was, like, it was TSM, Fnatic, and occasionally, like, Virtus Pro around that time. That would all, like, share. And NIP was around, but NIP was, like, a little bit of a step lower, I would say. Um, along with, like... And then, like, NVS came in a few times. But really, during that summer, they beat NVS, which NVS was, uh, is a, was a French team at the time. Uh, and had some of the best French players ever on the team. Um, they beat them in twice, I believe, in best of threes. They... I think they might have taken like, a group stage map off of, like, Fnatic or something. Um, and they lost to Fnatic in a final. They lost mm -hmm. to TSM in a final. Um, but I think Envious in a final. And, yeah, probably Envious in a final. I but think. they beat Envious in, like, two BO3s, I think. Like, two separate times. Yeah. Um, and it, you're right, it was, it was summer 2015. And the biggest thing was, because it was three finals in a row, yeah, that, that was were all it. one by three different teams, but it was the fact that they consistently More made second. it to second place, yeah. so it just propelled them into, like, the top five teams in the world. Oh, I and it, it was it was something that had never happened before, because, mm -hmm. like, before then, the highest an NAT would be was, like, 10th, 15th best in the world, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, it there was, was no never... There was could actually compete. Yeah, the That's closest um, <laughs> the closest thing that NA had before then was um, a version of the lineup that would become Cloud9 called Complexity, I believe mm -hmm. made top four at a major, or was it top eight? I don't fucking remember. Uh, they, I think, I think they made top, top four. I, I want to say top four. I'm not sure, but uh, it might have been top eight. But that that was the best thing they had ever done, uh, and that was in 2014, I believe. Oh, shit. That uh, complexity made um, what we refer to as legend status at a major. Um, if you're the top in the top eight. You're a legend, and you're locked into the next majors top sixteen. Okay. So that's really what every team should be aiming for. So, um, all right. Here's another like again, probably dumbass question. I love questions when it comes to this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's um, so much fun. You're most... right. No, they made a top floor in DreamHack Winter 2013. Nice knowledge. And um, they lost to uh, Fnatic. And yeah. Fnatic ended up winning. So, like, are most of like the big names that you hear? Oppers? Are they mostly just like no. because of how they frag? I mean, or? Um, it, it really depends. Most people make their names by having insane highlights. Um, yeah. That's really because so a lot of people. Uh, so there's a Reddit uh, subreddit called R slash global global offensive, and um, the only things that make to the top there are like super crazy insane individual plays. Makes sense. Yeah. I also would Rosters change players. Yeah, rosters change players are like, uh, oh, Sky is in the chat and he said M Opper and Umper and a bitch. Um, nice. Poetry. <laughs> what if I told you two out of those thing, two out of those three things are true, Sky, and I'll let you decide which isn't. It's not an Opper anymore. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna let Sky decide. Because <laughs> it's like I don't really know many other roles besides. Okay. Popper and so, IGL. And I know sometimes, like, someone's, like, a scout. Yeah, so let me, uh, just, in a typical team, uh, there's, obviously, you know, there's five players. E. Um, there's an in-game leader. There is the opper. Usually, people, do falls to two rifle roles. Um, what people call them are a lot of different things. There's actually a ton of debate to me in the Counter-Strike community. Um, I usually refer to them as first and second man in. Um, and then there's a support player. Oh. So, um, the first man in is what you call your entry fragger. Um, the entry fragger is a person that will dedicatedly always go first into a bomb site, And their job is to try to get one kill and get the information for everyone. So they are more or less the scout yeah. for that team. And usually your, your star player is the second man in because... They're the one who's going to get the, the big kills. They're going to trade gonna you. They're going to have a multi-kill. Yeah. So on, on T side, um, you attack bomb sites. Uh, the first person in is the entry fragger. And the second person 
uh, will trade them, which uh, in Counter-Strike, trading is when you avenge their death by killing the person that killed them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's, we refer to that as trading. Cool. Um, it's called a trade kill. Uh, and the second man in is expected to get the trade kill and be able to do more damage across the map. While the opper is getting his pick, he's trying to work some angle. Um, then game leader and the support player probably are chucking flashes over or making sure they smoke off things yeah. for the first man in and second man in to clear the bomb site. Um, and then on CT side, the roles get a little different to me because like there is no longer really a need for an entry fragger on CT side because um, CT side you're playing defense. So you still have your main opera. You still have your in-game leader. You still have people who are support because they're really going to flash people into bomb sites when you retake them. Yeah. So, uh, just because I like to go over things in too much detail sometimes. Um, say we're playing nuke. We lose a site. Um, our a site players die. There's three people left alive. The support player probably would be the person flashing into sites, trying to smoke something off for whichever rifler is left. Mm -hmm. trying to retake the site and maybe if the opera is alive or whoever um it's idiot roll yeah <laughs> um oh. i in most of my teams i've either been the in-game leader or the support player okay it's a, that's that that's probably the most thankless role support player like, 100 yeah, actually in game yeah. leaders you you can get some clout for them and like sometimes your team does appreciate it a lot but like support players always get the short end of the stick because they're not in-game leading, so they're not doing something big, and they're not fragging. Yeah. You know? that, um, ooh. Okay. Okay. So, in a minor league, it, it takes a lot to be a good support player. You need to know all the flashes, all the smokes, yeah. like, and you need to know pretty much how to make sure that your teammate's not gonna die. So huh. when I played for Desi, Chance, I was mm -hmm. super duper support player. Um, it was to the point where people on the team would criticize me for having low ADR. And I told them, dude, my only job in this team, Desi only has me throwing flashbangs and smokes. I only mm -hmm. throw grenades. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't... I'm never Which in... do, like, yeah. have someone that barely does anything. Yeah, and that's what... Because I'm, I'm, like, my only example where I can use myself as an example. But that's the truth in every team, more or less. They have right. that yeah. support player. Um, now on the top tiers, it's a little less. I would say it's becoming more a little more balanced, but there is yeah. usually someone still that is, like, okay. so, the support. Yeah, the game's kind of shifting a little bit from, like, a dedicated support to, like, mm -hmm. everyone can support a little bit. Yeah, that, which it's the, same, it's the same with, like, lurking. Yeah. A lot of teams used to have a dedicated person to lurk. Okay, let's say, you know, the four of us. Like, let's say, you know, we're playing, Tilted is playing. Yeah. The four, four of us, you know run up B on Inferno, we run up Banana, and we take the site. We'll have, like, Shane or something like that slowly walking up A to catch rotators or trying to flank behind them to kill them when they're trying to retake the site. And that used, that's lurking. And it used to be a lot of teams would have some one person dedicated, dedicated to, it, yeah. to being a lurker. Like, the most famous would probably be Get Right, because Get Right yeah. lurked for a long time. I would say that, like, the, the most day. famous ones are, like, Get Right, Hiko... Yeah. Um. Maybe know. even happy for a little. Yeah, for a little while. while. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. But, but they, they kind of stepped away from that a little bit, like a dedicated. Yeah. Okay. Um. You'll still see it every now and then, but um. Yeah. It's one of the things where the game's evolving, and yeah. some re some shifting. roles kind of change Bay because, way. to me, like lurking kind of stopped being a thing because everybody expected it. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because again. From a total outsider perspective, yeah. watching games, watching you guys play, it's like, okay, to you guys, it's like, more systemic. You know every role. Yeah. You know how, I guess, like, the most popular play styles and what you're going to see, so you adapt. Mm -hmm. Whereas it's mm -hmm. like, if I don't know any of that and I watch, I more or less look at it as kind of like a, I don't know, like a military platoon, almost? I get that, um, yeah. <laughs> so, like... At first, when it's like, oh, no, there's a dedicated support, I'm like, oh, but how does that work? Because if you didn't anticipate uh, the opponent's strategy correctly, like, aren't you kind of fucked if yeah. the guy you need isn't where he's supposed to be? It's just kind of like a... A little bit. Huh. Yeah. 
Um, it really... So, um... When it comes to stuff like that, um, it's all, it becomes way more serious at higher levels. Um, at lower levels, like, that we play at, you really... So, sort of, like, getting really good at what... Knowing what your opponent is going to do is called counter shredding. Okay. Um, so, if... That's what professional teams do to each other all the time. Um, is they'll counter shred each other because, say... That... So, Strawless and Liquid are playing... Uh, Astralis knows that Liquid loves to put mid pressure on, and they love to take mid all the time. Um, so they might set up um, some sort of CT sided defense that you know um, yeah. that they're gonna punish them for taking mid. It's just, but um, at our level, you really don't have to counter strat as much. You can kind of just be good at what you do and beat other teams oh. but that's because other teams at our level aren't going to counter strat us okay um but if we were to play a good like a professional team they would watch all of our demos and destroy us mm -hmm. people at our level don't watch demos they just generally don't <laughs> uh i watch demos quite often oh aries is uh requesting to come in and join Counter-Strike talk, I think. <laughs> um, uh, I just saw him in chat, and... Uh, cool. It's not, he's moving in TeamSpeak, so I can't grab him. <laughs> His own fault. User was you kept moving time. when I was trying to bring you in, Aries. <laughs> I know, I was trying to get your attention. Yeah. <laughs> all, I, all I heard was, we don't get counter shredded. Yeah. You know why we don't get counter shredded? Why? Because we're retarded. Oh, that's strats. true. No. He's, he's, <laughs> Aries does have a point here. <laughs> I just opened sixty dollars worth of like the sticker capsules, and I think I made out with like hundred and fifty. Ooh. I got two Astralis oils. Hey, they're gonna win the major. No, bro. Avangar's about to trash them. That'd be funny. You know what happened, la you know what happened last time Adrenaline was in the final? He won. Yeah. Yeah. You know what happened last time Astralis was in the final? They won. Yeah. Yeah, so what are you saying? Is you these guys you happen to win? That's a fact, actually. That's like a sad fact. So, so the thing about Simple, though, he's still an amazing player, but he doesn't. At majors, he's not um, the world class <laughs> player he is normally, and he has to rely on his teammates. Which Navi, he basically has no teammates. Yeah. I'm... They were stepping up a little bit. Okay, this Electronic major, played well this major, I will I completely say, admit. Like but they added in Boomich, which Boomich to me didn't really do much. Um, they had a couple highlights, but not, not enough. Good maps, but not enough. Um, and Flamey has just been on that team forever, and I don't know how. I don't, I don't know why Flamey's still on the team, but that's a really good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here's, here's, here's what happened, right? Flamey was originally brought in when Flamey was, like, a hyper-firepower level. Like, at the time, yeah. he was effectively the only player of top-tier caliber in CIS. That they could have brought like, in, yeah. You had, you actually, everyone was, everyone else was on Hellraisers and was completely undervalued. Because, I think in 2013, Doja was a top five, he might have been top three players in the world on HLTV. You should check that real quick. In what year? So, for the record... Uh, talking about Doge in 2013, you said? Yeah. yeah, he was like top yeah, five. He was, he was a good, he was pretty good. It, for, he was also playing with his brother, which made yeah. him way more comfortable. Um, but just for the record, because I, I wanted to check how Foolish did, really the only one that he played well in, now that I'm like looking at it, is the one against NRG. He was, I think, bottom frag against Crazy. No, he was, yeah, he was bottom frag against Crazy. Against MIBR, he was... Bottom frag again. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Against Mouse Force, he was second to last. Against Dream Eaters, he was. Actually, he was top, but that was against Dream Eaters. And um, keep in mind, like what we were talking yeah. about before, Boomage um, isn't a an in game leader. He's not yeah. really no, a support Boomage player. That's what we're um, we're, not, yeah, because yeah, we were so talking about. Um, we were talking about earlier how typically in game He's leaders. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But in-game leaders and support players typically are on the bottom of the scoreboard. Like, that's just sort of how that happens. But, 
but, but Tony, I'm, I'm at the, the top, top of the scoreboard, and I IGL. No, you no, don't. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whenever, whenever Aries calls a strat, I would say there's like a 90% chance it fails. Oh my god. I'll get, I'll get like four kills and then it will fail. He could, yeah, well that's also partially because he'll be like, Hey guys, this is what I want you guys to do. Okay, so you're all gonna just run up with your knives out, don't even try and shoot at them. And I'll go and distract them so I can run up. You know, this way. Right. So basically, yeah. So you know, an Aries like strat sounds like this. All right. So here's a fishing pole. I'm gonna put all four of you at the end of it. I'm gonna throw you down mid and wait for them to take it. As soon as they bite, I'm gonna kill them. Okay. Does it work though? Sometimes. <laughs> That's better than ever. Um. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> um. But yeah, we have we have a first match uh, tomorrow actually. Um, All right. Here's my question. What's up? Is, is everyone, everyone here tomorrow? tomorrow? They should be. Yeah. Yo, Kyle, Kyle, do you have a lighter? What the fuck? Do you have a lighter? I need to light the stove. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is going, going on, bro? I have no idea. <laughs> I think he's talking to his brother. I'll just check all the doors. So, so our uh, our stove doesn't work on one half. Uh. For, for some, some reason, reason and you have to use a lighter, lighter even though it has a starter, starter. The, the starter just doesn't work. <laughs> nice. So, I'm, I'm trying to find the lighter for it, but I can't. And I'm sad, because I want to make eggs. Yo, Colin, are you panting walking around your house? I just full sprinted from one side of the house to the other. I think you're lying. Are you like a trailer? I also went up like two flights of stairs. <laughs> Yo, you know, it's, it's actually considered healthy if you are breathing heavily after going upstairs. That is considered with the No, it's not. Zone. It is. According, according to who? But in the... <laughs> okay, so if WebMD is your chief medical source, you're probably fucking dying. <laughs> hey, so, speaking of dying and people, uh, you know how people have been dying of, like, vaping-related illnesses? Yeah. So, so it, it turns, turns out, out a lot of these people who were getting, getting sick were getting, getting, getting sick from contaminated dab cartridges. cartridges. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh Honestly. yeah, no, I've heard that. Really? Yeah, I actually haven't heard anything. Vitamin about this. E. Um, some I did hear that. that. Some I, kind I of heard compound. One story about that. That it's just yeah. not. Is it just bad? It's, and I think Is it was vitamin like... E. They probably just overdosed on a vitamin. No, it wasn't one that was vitamin E. I remember that. If you overdose on vitamin A, or if you just take, if you you know like the vitamin E gummies that you get. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, if you, you take, take, if you eat those things, like they're candy, candy like, if, if, if you, you didn't, didn't realize that they were a multivitamin, and you, you were just, like, giving them to your kids as candy, candy your kids, kids would get, um, was it osteoporosis, where your bones aren't very dense and break like it's nothing? Whatever, whatever that disease is, where your bones look like it's... Yeah, that's osteoporosis. Yeah, it's osteoporosis, you're right, yeah. That's what, that'll, it'll actually, overdosing on vitamin A will weaken your bones to the point where they will shatter for nothing. Oh my. So, yeah, so specifically, the, there was one in New York, I guess, um, and the health officials are saying that they think it's related to a vitamin E overdose. Yeah, so that really comes down to um, whoever's manufacturing, uh, yeah. like with the THC, uh, um, whatever they're sure. mixing, like for, I, I have to assume that this comes like down to flavors and shit, or like... Okay, okay. Probably. specifically, I guess... They're probably using diacetyl. I, I no 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 no. no, no, no. Well, diacetyl will cause popcorn when it's fucking bad. A lot of them don't use diacetyl anymore because of that. But no, specifically, I was just like skimming through the article, and it says I guess vitamin E is naturally found in cannabis. Uh, oh shit! That's what you're talking about, like the THC content. So what you're telling me is that yeah, potheads are literally killing themselves. I'm, I'm saying it's probably not just like a vape with nicotine in it. Okay. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, because so they're they're taking pure concentrate, and then if you're not filtering out specifically for the uh, yeah. THC and the cannabinoids, and then everything mm -hmm. that that entails in the mix. Uh, okay, I don't like I don't like how much uh, Brecken knows about this. Uh, hello. <laughs> She's got a big brain. Let me tell you. <laughs> yes. I walked into her school campus, I'd catch on fire. And then I couldn't tell if she was calling me retarded or just that what I think is the truth is the actual truth and the school is lying. What? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I don't even know what that means. No, so the other day, I'm not, I'll, I'll tell you about this later because you'll probably get TOS. Actually, no, you won't get TOS, but I still don't want to say it on your stream because 
some, some people, people it, it, it is a very hotly debated topic although there's a lot of evidence that supports my side of the argument uh, i you can is, i don't care if you say it to be honest um different ethnic groups from different areas of the world will naturally genetically have a higher iq that is not true yeah, yeah no it is that's uh, no, no 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 if you put them in with the same resources it is not true bam I was going to say, that's... The, same, the, the, the studies that show that they, that they are, like, predisposed to a lower IQ are only ones where they don't give them the same resources. So if you compare me to someone in, I don't even know, uh, fucking Morocco, even, okay, like, yeah, I'll probably have a higher IQ, but they don't have the same education infrastructure there. No, but here's the thing, your IQ doesn't change from birth. Oh my god, dude, okay. this dude is, this is how, how many times are we going to recreate eugenics? Do we have to do Darwinism again? again. <laughs> no, this, this is a eugenicist argument. argument. The, the fact of the matter is that education, education doesn't change your IQ. Everyone is naturally predisposed to how high of level they have of IQ. Okay, well, Wait, you're, you're quoting IQ, second. though, as gospel? No, nope. hold like, on, hold on, hold on. Also, <laughs> let me just... One, one, okay. IQ doesn't level how... Like, an IQ test does not level how smart you are. It levels how good you are at taking IQ tests, okay? Um, number two... Okay. Specifically, what you just said sounded like a quote from Mein Kampf. I was telling, like, Steve, okay, about how for one of my classes I had to read a chapter of Mein Kampf. And you told so me about this the other day, too. You, yeah, so much of the shit you just said was, like, a direct rip. Like, the whole, like, you're either born with it or you're born without it. It's a predisposition from birth. Like, <laughs> well, this is what the science, this is what the science supports, though. No, God, no, no, there's so many errors in what you're saying. Reports. Holy fuck. That's, that's, that's junk, junk science, science, dude. I don't know. It's, no. like, okay, 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 okay. it's, it's like, like, okay, okay, okay. It's like this, okay? I could easily say that there is scientific evidence to support that, like, gay, gay parents, gay parents, um, you know, their children are less happy and less likely to be successful in life. And I could point to two studies that say the same thing. But if he was counter-arguing with me, there's over 70 studies that say it makes no difference. So, so like, like, yeah, you can you can cherry pick a day, cherry, cherry pick some data, data and get some junk science in there, but like, it really depends on the consensus of hundreds of studies. I think I have like a good way to put it too, because like, I understand Aries that like, what you're saying when it's like, no, but like I've seen someone provide like a conclusive argument. Well, the, the but, issue is like these are like national companies. So like, national that doesn't mean anything. It also depends on who's, who's funding it. Exactly. If, if like there are specific studies. Okay, okay, there, there are, are hundreds of scientific scientific, scientific studies, studies that say that sugar, sugar is not bad for you at all, okay? okay? And, and the, the whole, whole argument of, like, sugar is sugar, like, like natural sugar and artificial sugar, sugar, sugar is the same. And, and, and if you actually look who those are funded by, by, it's yeah. usually funded by someone, someone like Coca-Cola, okay? okay? I was like like going to go even simpler with it, though. So, like, you know that there's a correlation between ice cream sales... And homicide, right? That's, That's a fact. fact. That's, That's a good one. one. That's, That's a basic fact. You could say, That's oh my god, fact. there's a correlation in our data. Clearly, ice cream is the cause for murder. Or, or, if you take a minute and contextually look at it, it's like, when is ice cream most popular to fucking buy? In the summer. What does the summer have? I don't Heat. know about that one. I mean, when are people, people, people most likely to commit murder? murder? The summer. I don't actually, is it like Christmas time? That's, that's for suicide. suicide. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand, I understand like where Brecken's coming from. Because like, if you take like a stats class, one of the first things they'll tell you is about the ice cream, um, that's amazing. Ice cream homicide I love that example. Thing. Correlation and they go, does not equal causation. Yeah, exactly. I've heard that's that exactly what they'll say to you right afterwards is, obviously these two things could not be further from related Correlation does not equal causation. I can't tell if my eggs are cooked or not. Should I just throw them out? <laughs> That's a big brain question. No, why would you throw them out? Rocky did it. No, Rocky did it. I'll, do it. I'll do it. My, my brother, brother used to eat raw eggs. eggs. <laughs> Rocky did it, and look, he became the world's best boxer. And no, he didn't become the world's best no, boxer. He just became the world's most fucked up face. Oh, well, he in the movies, he does become the best boxer. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. After, after he loses. Best, after his best friend dies. No, he... Before then. No, no after his best friend dies. Ro at post-Rocky 2, he was considered the best 
boxer, he goes on a tear. Yeah, you know, these and eggs are fucked. I'm throwing them out. They, he goes like on a tear, shit. and then it's when uh, Clubber Lang beats him that he unseats him as the world's best boxer. And then he trains back to the level, beats Clubber Lang again, is considered the world's best boxer again. Okay. Aries, um, I, what are you doing to your eggs, my dude? I, well, I, I scrambled them, right? Uh huh. And I put milk in when I scrambled my eggs okay. to make them fluffier. But, but my, my eggs tend just came up, up like full of holes, and like they look kind of like retarded cheese. Okay. And, and I didn't put cheese on my eggs, so I'm assuming that there's something wrong. wrong. I think you're fine. It's too late now. I already threw them out. You're. I'm the one who buys these eggs. I don't want to buy these eggs. I'm wasting my own money. You're stupid. Anyways. But yeah, Aries, you need to stop looking at junk science. I don't know. That'll down to a thick book. Aries, I, you know what though? Like, I'm all for the, the idea that Asian cultures are more likely to be one standard deviation in IQ above white people. No. I like that. That sounds about right. No. I don't know any. I only know like three dumb Asians, but they all have like low functioning autism, so. Bro, have you met Derek? Dude. Dude, why do you. Why would you. I think Derek single handedly disposes of this. Yeah. <laughs> That Asians are supposed to be genetically predisposed. I hate, I hate that stereotype. Okay. okay. Like, you no, know, you know why though that it spreads? It's because Derek they're so fucking many Asians. Like Derek could not be more of like the average American intelligence of anyone that I've ever met in my life. Derek, Derek, if you're watching this, I find you to be an intelligent young man, and I think you have a great personality. No, no I, Derek, Derek is just like, like an, I, I think he has a great personality. personality. But I'm just saying, like, his, his, his I, I would say his IQ is actually, actually probably a little above average. Is this a roast? <laughs> Derek's not even here to defend himself. This is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I just accidentally put in, like, literally half a cup of sugar. Or not sugar, just salt. And I tried to put sugar on my eggs, dude. I can't see the eggs beneath the salt now. This is an unfortunate That's occurrence. That's vile. Could someone take you know, the, the eggs out of his head? Salt to hand, not salt to pan. What are you doing? Uh, no, I didn't salt to pan. I salted the eggs. No, 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 no that salt into pan. Put in your hand first. Yes, yes that's what I did. But then how did you put so much on? Why? Great, right, because I accidentally... You know, this is like, because... I'm, I'm gonna do, do this until it looks right, and I accidentally oh, just like... Oh, Christ, no. Okay, guys, I think we're missing a big point. I think this just proves that he's just genetically predisposed to a lower IQ. Yeah, I think... I think... I think Chance has a point here. <laughs> Maybe Ares is right. I wouldn't doubt it. Apparently he's from the South. I'm pretty sure that by itself predisposes us. Automatic, like, minus 15. So here, here's the thing. Maybe 20. My grandmother's from deep south of Texas, and my grandfather is from the deep mining towns of West Virginia. If you if you didn't have any, those were like those sound about like the two most recorded areas in the country. Jesus. Woo! Well, it's out of like Western Connecticut. You're, You're just, just, I think the, the reason, reason that Aries is making up these lies is because he's jealous of me and Tony. Because he knows me and Tony have like perfect 100 IQs. Perfect 100 IQ, bro. Yeah, perfect 100. Yeah, yeah. according to Hank, perfect the perfect 100 IQ, bro. Is it 100 below the standard deviation? <laughs> it is, but it's, our, so our friend Hank used to joke around and say that I, I, I'm part of the perfect 100 IQ, club. <laughs> I don't know. He, he, course, like, he, I really don't know. Tank's actually a smart person. Yes, he does know that. I, yeah, his, his, his online persona, though, is just, Oh, like, does he act like a dumbass when he's around us? Yeah. <laughs> no, I love Hank. Hank is my, nice one of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> Tony, take that back. I said he's one of my favorite people in the world, and I'm in it. Take that back, Tony. No. We all User joined the, the channel. channel. Your two favorite people in the world better be Gin and Adam. Brecken and Adam. <laughs> Let's go down, Steve. Why am I not on this list? <laughs> oh shit! See, Steve is also one of my favorite people in the world. Oh, it's Steve. Where's, Where's me? Mike, I think. Steve, your mic sounds messed Where am I on the list, buddy? You're higher than I, but lower the chain. I think it might be part of like your uh, your uh, college setup, because like since the last few times I heard you in TS, you sounded like this. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I can. What the fuck? It is a new mic. First of all? Okay, that's that'll be. Yeah. yeah. Um, My eggs are really mad fucked. And I'm I'm working on it. That's that's the long story. Yeah. Um. To be honest, Steve, it sounds more like your voice. Uh, okay. Um. 
So I think the they're used to your voice being a little more higher pitched than it is in real life. Uh, uh, when, uh, when, when are we, uh, gonna, gonna sort, sort out, out our Airbnb? Airbnb? What? Tony. For what? For New York. I'm not even sure if I'm going, to be honest. This, this is fucked. Yeah, I have a work event the weekend of... Uh, yeah. I already, I already took the days, days off, so this is like, I feel betrayed. Well, you, um, Shane's 100% going. Um, Tony, Chance, you should come. No. You should come in a cup and put a little no. My Little Pony figure in the middle. Huh. <laughs> well then. Um, <laughs> So remember how like you were talking about TOS and stuff? I feel like that one. No, that's, that's, that's <laughs> that Honestly, let's see. We've got, we've got, we've got, got, one, got one person watching, watching and it's either you or me. I don't count as a viewer, so. I mean, you guys I have one. I'm on the stream actively. So. Okay, then it's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Did, did Farrak just get banned, banned from Mythic? One minute. minute. That'd, That'd be, be funny. funny. What a fair Farrick, Farrick, Farrick told, told me that, uh... What the fuck is he? You... I had an admin request if you told me who to talk to me for someone on the court. Tony, why is this advertisement here? You don't get ad revenue. What ad? <laughs> uh, Not on the stream. stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, does it actually... Does it say it's supporting Twitch or me, though? It, it doesn't, doesn't say either. either. Oh, then Twitch is just putting it there. Oh. Because uh, if it supports me, it would say this ad supports Hydroxide Ant. Um, mm -hmm. But if it doesn't, it's <clears> supporting <throat> Twitch. Because I don't, I don't run ads or anything. So, because um, you can run ads, like you can just I'm set it to ad. and be like, I'm going to run ads now. Gotcha. Um, I do. I remember. Uh... Back, Back in the day, day when, when Anders, Anders used to stream, stream with like, like uh, what was his, what was his account on Twitch? Pug, 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 Pug TV? TV some some it was something to do with Pugs. Pugs. And he wouldn't run any ads until after every game of the day was done. And he would just say to people like, yeah, like guys, can you please just, you know, like, minimize it, mute the tab. And, you know, just watch these ads for like three minutes. Yeah. And, and I was like, like you, know, you know, because, because he, he did that, that and never ran them, like, between games or anything like that, I would always stick around yeah, of course. and have the, and, like, have the ads. Like, honestly, at that point, I'd be like, I'm just going to go walk away from my computer for, like, a few minutes. <laughs> so, apparently, Farrick was in a pug, and the server crashed, and one of the players didn't reconnect when the, one of the players in the enemy team didn't reconnect in time when they remade the server. And... The, the admin came, came back and restarted the, the match again, giving, giving the guy time to reconnect. In the, according, according to the rule book, uh, the, 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 the investigating admin is supposed to make an a decision, decision at that time on whether or not to cancel the match if something happens, happens. If, if the server crashes or if someone doesn't reconnect or any of that. that. And the admin said that there are, quote, no rules in place to cover this. So... Farrick is very pissed, pissed off because, because his team was up 8-5 when the, the, uh, the uh, server crashed, crashed and, and then they, they lost on the third recreation of the server. server. <laughs> that's, that's so depressing. That's dumb. And, and so, so not, not only uh, did, did this all happen, happen I, think I think what he's saying was that the team that won did not gain any ELO and the team that lost did lose ELO. That's so weird. And he's like, they, he was, he's not happy right now. I, I can't really understand what's happening, but that seems to be about what's going on. Damn. Poor, Poor Farrick, bro. Man. I can't even win a pug. Let's pour one out for Farrick. Pour one out for your homie. Pour a tab for your boy. Huh. <laughs> Gotta pour one out, bro. Yep. All I can taste on these eggs is salt. I wonder why. Why? I'm still, I'm still gonna, gonna eat them. Probably because you loaded, loaded them. them. Why? How do you why? fuck up eggs? It's so nasty. 
I, I told you, you I accidentally released, released the entire, entire handful, handful of salt. Okay. Accidentally. So. Why is there a handful? Just a salty bitch. Why? Because I, I have small hands. hands. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It sounds like a personal problem, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy shit, dude. You cannot relate. <laughs> I have hands the size of a seven-year-old. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're saying Shane's hands are like eight times your hands? Okay, so here's the fact. Shane's hands are stupidly massive. Yeah, he is. Remember when he really tried big. to trick us on yeah. the podcast into thinking he had small hands? Yeah. Okay, no. Shane's body worries me because Shane is not buff, right? But Shane's shoulders are huge. Shane is not muscular, but, like, I guess I don't know if he's toned because Shane doesn't. He works out, but not, like, heavily. I was gonna say, he's not aggressive. I think he just, like, stays in shape. Shane is. Shane says he stays in shape, but Shane stands with perfect posture. His his shoulders are literally like three times the size of his biceps. That's just bone structure, bro. Yeah, I think I think he's just like built like that. That's that's genetic predisposition, bro. If that if that's bone structure, then I like. I am severely confused because Shane's like arms are tiny, but his shoulders are just massive. That actually does sound like bone structure, though. Yeah. Because you like genetically, you could have really wide shoulders. You could have more narrow shoulders. Um, his, his his shoulders are just super wide and just massive. Because you got to keep in it's, mind though, areas that like he could have. Like Shane's not very tall. Shane's not like super tall. Yeah, but like it makes it even like more worrying. Yeah, because like he could have, like in his gene pool, he got probably just got a weird mix of things possibly, and yeah, or it might be completely normal. And Aries is weird, so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about average in terms of how square my torso is. So, like, I've never seen Ares, but now I know he has tiny, tiny hands. <laughs> and a square torso. You're not missing much if you don't see him, bro. Do yourself a favor and never look. <laughs> like, the little oh, mental I'll send, I'll send you a picture of my hands compared to my plate. My average, my normal size paper plate. Okay. <laughs> Just, just so you can see how tiny they are. <laughs> like, do you use, like... You know, you know who's actually tiny? Who? Sanji, dude. Sanji's a midget. Have you seen him? Really? From, uh... Dude, this is... You know how Jane is, like, average yeah. size? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay. here, this is in the background of my channel. Take a look at this. Sanji is, like... At least seven or eight inches smaller than Jim because Jim's got a fat head, and he's you can see his fucking his his dip too in his pocket. You can see his chewing tobacco. Epic. Who who was it that had a boner on stage? What? What? Whoa! What? I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. No, it's you, I guess. Um, someone was talking to Smix, and this this picture was on Reddit. Ah, poor Smix. I really hate Smex. I think I think it was the coach of crazy. It might have been the coach of crazy. Neil? It might have been Neil. I don't know. It was recently, dude. It was like at the major Smex was interviewing someone, and someone was like, "Yo, I don't know if anyone else saw this, but this made me super uncomfortable." And it was just this dude standing next to Smex, and his you could just see his fucking dick going down his leg. That's weird, dude. Makes me uncomfortable. He's very small. Uh, huh. uh, That's a very small man. Uh, That's the guy Sanji from Avengar, who's in the major final. Uh, chance. That's how I picture Jordan being compared to everyone else. <laughs> Sanji there. Tiny, yeah, he's just very small. Uh, I person Jordan. We've told. I've told you many stories about. Is also very short. Okay. Um, he's like five six maybe. You know, you know what, what I, I don't like? like? I don't like how gay, gay this picture makes James look. What? <laughs> look, look, Sanji, Sanji's, Sanji's like, like a normal dude. He's wearing like sweatpants. But he's also very on. small. But, but then look, look at James. James got like an extra large, like a size too big jersey. He's got a fucking undershirt on. But he looks comfy. Skinny jeans. I don't know, to me he looks pretty normal. 
I don't, I don't know. know. I think I think, I think it's a secret because he's Russian. Russian. I think, I think you're just crazy. crazy. You, can't you can't risk getting executed as an international superstar. superstar. Huh. Did you hear about this? The Russian what? government a few years ago? Um, um executed, executed a pop star, star for being gay. gay. I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Russia, Russia kind of sucks. sucks. Um, it was the son of one of the oligarchs, too. too. Well, that's, uh, that's I'm unfortunate. I'm not surprised. Like, so, one of, one of the other son, son became really, really famous as a pop, pop star. star. I think he was, was like the third highest selling pop star in Russia at the time as well. And then what happened was the vacation town that he was staying at for a week was raided by Russian troops and he happened to die during the raid. <laughs> That's sad that. Yeah, that's pretty they sad. I don't even know how to react. Yeah, really, there's no like laughing to that one. Like, that's that just sucks. Yeah, I mean, okay, there, there are, are worse, worse countries for gays than Russia. Russia. The, the entire Bahama? Bahama? No. no, dude, dude Chechnya? Chechnya? They have, they have concentration camps. camps. You, know you know what they do if you're gay in uh, Jamaica? What? They hunt you down to the sewers, but if you're in the sewers, they won't kill you. Okay. In Chechnya. They literally have cops with accounts on like Grinder and Tinder and shit like that. Okay, and they get gay guys to meet them up so they can bring them to concentration camps. I'm not kidding. Like this is an actual thing. That's is that what China does with Muslims? I wouldn't doubt it. That's crazy. No, that's really sad. By the way, by that. Yeah. Really bad there. Yeah. The world's a fucked up place. Yeah. Now I just feel horrible. Yeah. Now I'm just sad. Yeah. I'm sad. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. That's, That's what happens when I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I think the China thing is almost scary. Though. Well, China, though, it's not, it's not, even, not even just like Muslims, because they really oppress every religion like that. Like, they oppress Christians, they, 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 too. They oppress Christians, yeah. but Muslims, they really hate. Yeah, 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 to yeah. be fair, it kind of seems like a lot of Asia hates Muslims. Yeah, yeah, Americans do too. So. I was gonna say, uh, a lot of the world unfortunately has a poor uh, yeah. view of yeah. Muslims. So. To be fair, a lot of a lot of Asia has historically been massively oppressed by Muslim super nations. Yeah, by the old Muslim super nations that don't exist anymore. <laughs> like, uh, over a thousand years ago. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I was gonna say, you mean like the Ottomans and stuff, right? Yeah. I hate to say... That's, that's a long time. Well, here's the thing, black people still hate white people in this country for slavery, which ended 160 years ago. I think uh, black, black people, people hate white people, people in this country because they don't like getting shot at, actually. Um, yeah. But that's, but that's just my own, you know. Aries, what kind of word filter is your brain? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how his brain works. Oh, I'm surprised his brain hasn't committed suicide. I kind of want to train a neural network to act like him and see how fast it diverges. <laughs> what does that mean? Think, like, you know what? When's, When's your birthday, birthday Colin? April 6th. I think, I think I'm gonna get you a stupid helmet. helmet. Like, you're, you're so dumb, you should wear a helmet. <laughs> what, like one of those child helmets? Yeah. yeah. Kid falls over? So, he needs a stupid helmet. Actually, um, after coming back from Kentucky, I brought a lot of my books with me. And now, I think I told you this before. You're reading for fun? No, I'm not reading for fun, but my my bookshelf looks a lot better than it used to because because it used to be empty. Uh, I thought Obi was in your room. I did. Oh, where's Obi? Who reads books? Yo, Obi, where the fuck are you? No, um, for Christmas, uh, at college, people gave me a copy of Mein Kampf, so that was all that was on my bookshelf. Lol. Oh my god. You know, uh, when you mentioned the insert from Mein Kampf. A Ares was literally ha on his else. knee, was like Mein Kampf, and then he was like leaning into the mic, reading verbatim word for word. <laughs> you just in his house? Clean what up, sorry, my pants? I don't know, but it, it sounds like it would be. I mean, you know, I could pick it up. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna lie. Gonna be honest. Like when he said that he had more books, like I'm just picturing him with like a little stack of like Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like picture books. <laughs> the only white supremacist propaganda. The only like, actual picture book I ever read was the comic bible. The, the comic bible? Yeah. They made the bible into just a like, like a thousand pages of comic strips. That's pretty sick. Wait. wait. What? I feel like more people would read the Bible <laughs> if it was like that, though. Yo, I read it in literally like a week, so... I actually got in trouble for reading it in school as well. well my, teacher was, my, teacher was, my teacher was like, alright, it's like sustained silent reading, it's SSR, right? So you just sit there and read, and do whatever. And I was reading the fucking comic book Bible, I got kicked out of class, and I had to sit in the hall. And for reading the Bible. It's kinda fucked up. It's like, damn, bro. This is what it feels like to be Ferric? Yeah. yeah. To be what a, do you mean? Have your religion oppressed? Oh. oh. Ferric was Ferric get, get oppressed? Oh, he's, he's a Muslim, Muslim and he was in Texas for a while, so... Uh, to be fair, to be fair, he's, he's a Muslim, 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 he was at a Muslim institution. Yeah, yeah but still. still. And he worked at... Actually, I don't think Ferric was oppressed. He worked at Starbucks. Oh, that's true. That, uh... That means he was oppressed by his workplace. My, My buddy, buddy worked, worked at Starbucks, Starbucks for a while and said it was the worst, worst experience he's ever had. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, like that's, that's common. common. I, I told you you'd get a job at Panera. Panera's, Panera's obviously the best. The best. You know, you know, did you know, okay, real quick, this is some facts for you all. 57% of the calories in our mac and cheese comes from saturated fats. He really is just word salad. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, like, <laughs> he really is. in the DSM, like, under schizophrenia, just like, Word salad. <laughs> and then a smiling face. Take a picture of Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. I don't actually don't. I've never heard of word salad before. Word salad, never yep. No, I've never heard of it before. It's, um, I've never, never heard, heard that statement. statement. The way that, like, you pick the next topic in sentences, you just kind of jumble it up. Yeah. And you mix it up. You, you put on some vinaigrette. And then, yeah. bam. Oh, uh, okay. Bam. And your mind just kind of goes back and forth between yeah. random topics. Okay, okay, so that does sound true about Colin, to be honest. <laughs> there, um, a lot, a lot of my friends, friends being me having terrible choice of friends, friends spend decent, decent portions of the year, year uh, uh, involuntarily in uh, state, state hospitals. hospitals. Uh, and, and one of them in particular, Lana, Lana who at last, last year literally was, was in for six, for six months, months at one point. point? Has, has decided, decided to call her, her favorite, favorite sociopath. sociopath. Oh, nice. She, she is entirely convinced that I am. I mean... Sounds like so something a sociopath would say. Interesting. Lana, Lana is quite, quite possibly many different, many different things, things though. Like, <laughs> Lana has decided that the best option for her in her life would be to tell everyone that she was 18 while she's 14, date a 20-year-old, and drop out of high school. Wow, Lana's nice. laundry just got, like, aired. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My, my friends are kind of fucked in the head, that's why I don't... So okay, very much. So, because, like, like, I'm actually jumping back, like, several topics now to go back to this, about Chechnya. Yes. Uh, yes. Specifically, I was reading, and it was saying that in some instances, after the arrest is made, cops will actually, uh, beat the person and hold them for ransom to their family in exchange for not outing them as gay. Honestly, at least they give you the chance of let, uh, yeah. not letting the world know you're gay. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked. Also, That's this right. part, like, I, I don't think I mentioned before, uh, part, part of the, the, the concentration camp, camp process is, like, torturing, torturing them to give up other gay men, men that they know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know any gay men. Uh, it's doubtful. Or no, if you're just... No, okay, if you're in a country like that, where it's, like, 10% of people, are okay, are okay with, with people, people being, being gay. gay. Um, you, um, probably, you probably know most gay men in the entire, entire fucking, fucking country. country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's cheap. like, that's that's like saying that druggies, druggies don't, don't know their drug dealer. dealer. Yeah. yeah. When, when everybody's, everybody's a drug dealer. dealer. So you're yeah. saying that the gays know their dick dealer? Exactly. exactly. <laughs>
Your words. <laughs> <laughs> only, only this group of people can make a joke out of concentration camps. Look. Jesus Christ. So here, right? It's not a joke. It's an analogy. This is the play, right? Every time from now on someone tells me that America has concentration camps, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell them to go to Chechnya and tell the police that they're gay. I mean, I mean, we kind of do too. So yeah, we do. But but. There's, there's, our, there's, there's our definitely there's our definitely you know you live in the south no i do not he uh is from the south though i believe originally right? I am from, from the south, south. yes, yes. Isn't, isn't that, that just, just one big, big like like, like place, place where, where we keep, keep the white trash, trash? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, the trashiest white people in this country genuinely live in like the far north I like, like Montana, Idaho, that's the Midwest. That's the Midwest. The Midwest doesn't, doesn't get out that far. And, and yeah, yeah Idaho, 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 yes, yes Montana, Montana not, not so much. much. Montana's, Montana's pretty, pretty, it's becoming, it's becoming more balanced. More balanced. I would, Montana, Montana 10 years ago, yeah. yeah. Um, Montana, Montana today, Maine, I would say no. What? Maine was like the no, most people no, 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 no. Maine, every, every single person in Maine is a fucking druggie. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, you're wrong. I think you lost your main audience, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. There goes my main yeah. demographic. Yeah. <laughs> I would say you've got like. Main now we're down to like a like, state. <laughs> I would say the only place in Maine where you can find some people that would be trashy would probably be like northwest, northwest Maine. Maine. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. sure. Um, oh, no, now we definitely lost pretty... northwest Maine. Okay, okay, Northwest, Northwest Maine, Maine has, has like 20 people. people. <laughs> God, it's 20 less now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, 20 less people would extrapolate it to how many of them you think uh, watch your show. You know, I like to think all of them. Fuck, fuck, we just lost So, so that's the entire audience? Yeah, we're just, we're just out, out now. Damn. Alright, call it a quits! Maine's dead. Okay. Pack it up! <laughs> just left the US. <laughs> um, that's the only way I'm wait, famous! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Like, like, what is Sanji, dude? What do you mean? He's from Uzbekistan, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Uh, he is. So, real quick, Sanji apparently has the second lowest EDPI of all players that, like, play at a professional level. Fuck. Yeah. The only person with lower is Manis. Yeah. Or it's Mihu. It's Mihu, actually, I think. Who was entry fragging and plays at 312 EDPI at 1,000 polling hertz. 800 dpi, 0.39 sensitivity. Sanji plays 400 dpi, 0.8 sensitivity, and a 125 hertz pulling rate. Which is ridiculous, because he's an entry, isn't he? Sanji, yeah. Uh, Sanji? Well, Sanji, they've been, Sanji's kind of, like, to me, has a very odd role on Avangar right now. They're almost using him, like... As Don't like a, as a bank? lurker, almost because almost um even a lot of gun rounds they have him buying Mac tens and MP nines. Like yeah, it's yeah, Vegas. Vegas water water water. I get it. Yeah. Like I don't. Vegas. But like it's not five <laughs> Mac ten rushing down banana. It's um they're using him sort of as like as like a weird scout thing. It's kind of well, well, kind of odd. Well. Yeah, that's true. He, I think he, he doesn't. doesn't he sometimes, sometimes doesn't buy him pistol rounds, rounds to do the same thing that RPK was doing yeah, as Zywood. Zywood. Yeah, Get that off up faster. Oh, yeah. Get that off. That, that. Your fireworks. Big, big green, green gun, gun boys. Yes. Big, big green gun. gun. I, actually I actually hate when people say that so much. much. I, like I like that. that. Big, big green, green gun, gun sounds like the Counter Strike version, version of Big Black Hawk. <laughs> wow. Am I wrong? Word salad is word salad. very, word very salad. well describing this man. If I had the time in the day, I would take clips, lovingly, of like everything he said, and just put them together in one really, really weird montage, and just like the only thing that would be on the screen. Would be, just be like a series of question marks, <laughs> <laughs> and every time he says something else, a new question mark shows up. <laughs> here's, here's, what we, uh, here's what we should do: we should make a Discord. 
for the, for the server, server uh, uh, which everyone except me has the access to type it to. Uh, and, and it only, it only has, has one channel, channel and, it and it is Aries, Aries quotes, quotes out of, out of context. context. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. No, I was gonna say most of them don't anyway, but like. Yeah. <laughs> Interessante. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, here's the real question, right? What's the best flavor of toothpaste? Toothpaste? I just said it's the best flavor of toothpaste. Kind. I but I'm I always I really like, just like, had like a mint flavor like yeah. or a spearmint like um I think, I think cinnamon is the way to go. I had cinnamon when I was like a kid, but I don't <laughs> I haven't had cinnamon toothpaste in, since, since you did the cinnamon, cinnamon challenge. challenge. I never did anything like that actually. <laughs> I did it. And it was horrible. horrible. Yeah, I wanted to, but then everyone was like, "It's impossible to do this," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." It's actually, it's actually physically. Impossible. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. much. To do to what? what? Cinnamon, cinnamon challenge. challenge. It's pretty. It's I'm pretty, pretty sure hard. it's physically impossible to do the cinnamon challenge, like the drinking a gallon of milk, or um, the drink, salt teen. Drinking a gallon of milk. I think that depends on your size. The, yeah, but, yeah, I, would, I, would, yeah. I thought like because I don't, don't. recently I saw that like the human stomach can't hold a full gallon of milk. Um, so. so it, it, it's so I'm, I'm sure there are some anomalies, though. So, I, yeah, I'm sure, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, like, or, like, you can't uh, hold it without vomiting, maybe? That was like, it? Like, so, so, think about this, right? A lactose intolerant person, that might go through them a lot faster. So you may, if you were on the toilet, while you Wow. Big brain. Here's what I understand. The stomach can hold... Um, naturally, naturally a quart of, but it has a volume of a quart, about, and that it's able to expand to about four liters, or just a bit more than a gallon, and Americans are particularly good at expanding our stomachs, apparently due to how, yeah, due to how large our portion sizes are, and we pretty much train ourselves to do it our whole life, so there are Americans who are able to stretch their stomachs up to about two gallons, uh, you, know you know what I find, what I find really, really funny? funny? Bubble guts. No. Okay, whatever. whatever. Um, um, I would say, <laughs> I would say <laughs> that like <laughs> we had we had to create an entire <laughs> new industry that like a lot of other countries don't, don't have. Gyms. Just, just to accommodate for the fact that we, that we, that we wanted, wanted to expand our portion sizes. Like, like it's, it's just so absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Not, Not only do we do that, but we have gyms, gyms in, our in our workplaces now. now. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I think, I think it's so, no, I think it's so funny. funny. I'm, I'm gonna go back to the days of like the early 1900s, where like, where like being, being fat, fat meant you were attractive, attractive because it means you meant you, meant you were rich, and like, and like people saw it as a yeah, status. Yeah, actually, like that guy can afford to eat like a king. Isn't that being fat is like hot? Is that how it is still like a lot of Latin American India? I, 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 would I would think so. so. Latin Americans have been saying that big is beautiful. I would assume that, like, I'm, in I'm a... I would assume it would be a big thing in, in, in like, a, an underdeveloped Yeah, because any country in which, like... Venezuela? Yeah. Super yeah, undeveloped and, like... People are starving. Yeah, uh-huh. if most people are starving and then you're fat, they probably would be, like, oh... That guy's, that guy's rich. You the, can the eat? All the How do you eat? I haven't, I haven't seen food in six years. Sorry, right, Mr. Okay, it's so true. Yo, I, Yo, I shut, shut up. I'm talking about my nose. Uh, yeah, what in your nose? Personal attacks, attacks bro. Right. I'm right. talking about my big nose. Who is? I'll be, I'll be back, back in a while, guys. Oh, Colin is. Oh. All right. Uh, See you, Steph. Steve. Hey, Steve. Steph. What? What? Who? Steph. When did Colin say something about your nose? Uh, because uh, I have a big nose. nose. No, but when did he? I didn't even hear it. Oh, oh, like, like right, right before, before Steve, Steve said bye. Oh, I heard Steve say bye in my brain. I was like, oh, Steve, leave. No. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah. <laughs> when, 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 Gambit, when Gambit won the major, they were ranked 15, 15 in the world, in the world and, they and they had three, three Kazakhstanis, a Russian, yeah. and a Ukrainian. Okay, okay so they have a Ukrainian, we have an Uzbekistani. So they're so number 15 in the world. They have three Kazakhstanis, a Russian, and an Uzbekistani. Yeah, dude, it's happening. I think Gar wins this major. major. It's confirmed. It's confer- HLTV confirmed. confirmed. I, the, last, <laughs> the last team Mo was voted for was 
Tony, Tony, what's up? I had to explain earlier to my roommate what HLTV like confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I was like explaining what HLTV confirmed means. Mo hasn't played a match in so long. Like the, like the good one? one. Yeah, yeah, good Mo. Mal. Okay, because I'm like, I'm, I'm like, Mo. you're not talking Captain about like Captain Mo. toxic. No, I'm not talking about, about obese brown man. Dude, all the, oh, the betting odds, odds for the fucking, fucking grand finals are so great. I tried to, I tried to use my fucking card to put money onto a website, and they just you're not in a state that allows it. No, I can't. Bovada lets you do it. What? Yeah, Bovada. The hell? The Sport betting, betting site, site. And, and literally, literally all you have to say, yeah, yeah. You, just you just have to be 18 plus, plus. they don't, they don't care. even care. Interesting. And I, and I tried using my card, and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put $25, $25 in, or $30 in, and they were, and like, they were like, yeah, we're using an international billing company, and then it was like, yeah, your card declined us. Like, that sucks. Interesting. That's weird. Don't know, if it's... Like, like, for instance, for instance um, um, sports, sports betting is, still, is uh, uh, mostly, mostly in New York. New York. Like, you, like can, you can, um, but, you, but have you have to register in person at, at like a casino, casino that, sponsors that sponsors a website, a website if you want to do it online. online. Yo, I Yo, can't, I can't wait to gay the prey away. away. Okay, okay with that, that, I'm gonna go. go. Um, <laughs> who's got a fan? Not Tony's, Tony's got, got a little. Uh, There's a little, little fan hump. like way in the background. Yeah. yeah, that's um keeps our keeps the mic on. Yeah, yeah. So what? what uh, open, open mic, mic baby. Yeah. We're actually we're on uh, voice uh, act activation, but um the last like two weeks for some reason the fan way back there isn't keeping the um, yeah. mic on. Interesting. Interesting. Between my fans and. These goddamn gerbils. Yeah, it's just kind of um, all we God suck God on. Yeah. Chance, Chance, how do you feel about gerbils? I like gerbils. I like gerbils. How do you feel about gerbils about, about uh, three, three months ago, ago? compared to now? I like like gerbils. gerbils? What do you mean? Oh, oh yeah, I get it. I get it. Joe. Um, no, <laughs> no I, I, think I think gerbils are cute. Are cute. <laughs> uh, gerbils are cute, but should not be inside you. They should never be stuck up your ass. Now you, now you guys got it. Yeah. I, I, I had a feeling you guys weren't catching on. No. No, because I'm like, yeah, Brecken has dribbles and they're adorable. They're not very smart all the time, but like. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> you should, you should, I want to get a chance a rat, rat for his birthday, birthday and then, and then he, he can, can let, let the rat, rat clean, clean his teeth. What? Why would he let <laughs> Smoothie clean his teeth? Yikes, oh. bro. But what do you need? A rat clean my teeth? Yeah, yeah so, so rats, uh, I think it's like. I used to like, like, is this, is this some, some kind of, of like rag, rag about, about my teeth, teeth or something? I'm confused. No, no, no. Um, so the, it's, it's, it's called, called uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what it's called. called. Oh, word salad uh, really is yeah. perfect here. It's, it's, it's I, I think it, it's, it's like, it might, it might just be rat, rat dentistry, dentistry. I, don't I don't know. But rats, uh, naturally will clean the teeth of other rats, so rats, uh, they're, Plenty, Plenty of owners, owners in the ADA actually says, says it's fine uh, to let it happen. No, I clean my own teeth. Which is just letting your rats I I clean my own teeth. Thank you. Yeah, but, yeah, but imagine, imagine having like, like a little furry No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm totally good without that. No. I'm gonna pass. Microphone activated. Yeah, I don't know why um, you trust Smoothie to clean your teeth. Tony? What's up? This, this podcast is giving me brain damage. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Um, you know, I was looking at the clock and I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, just, just call here. here. Like, I got, I got taxes. I gotta, okay, don't say taxes. Don't say taxes, Brecken. Because, 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 yeah, we're gonna have a tax debate. It's a very different statement that you think you're making. Cullen, Cullen doesn't know anything about taxes. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you know anything about taxes? No, no, filing your taxes is slang for something that Brecken is hopefully not doing right now. What are you talking about? Filing your taxes is slang for masturbation. I No, it's not. But, on what planet? It, it, no, it's South, South Carolina. No, it's, no, it's not. It's not. Do people in South Carolina just not file taxes yeah, and they right? just, <laughs> they I mean, just yeah, masturbate probably. all the time instead? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Is this what I'm understanding here? 
they all committing exactly fraud, like maybe, but they're like, yeah. if everyone's doing it, like... No, no, they, you can't really be illegal. In South Carolina, they file their taxes to get their fat tax refund to buy more meth. Tony, Tony, you actually just, like, brought up such a great point, too. Oh my god, you're gonna make me nerd out. Which part? The whole thing of, the whole thing of, like, if everyone is breaking X law, yeah. <laughs> could it be a law at all? Yeah. If, if everyone, everyone who owns an AR-15 in, in the state of Massachusetts is apparently a felon in the state of Massachusetts, are we really felons? Are we no, no because not everyone in the state owns an AR-15. No, no I, I know, but according to the Attorney General, she has deemed everyone who owns an AR-15 in the state to be a felon, uh, but she refuses to prosecute them? Think? Think? Massachusetts is a fucked up state, so I can't talk about that. Also, San Francisco, I don't, I, you probably already heard about this, Chance. What? What? San Francisco is deemed the NRA a domestic terror organization? I mean, I heard they are. I, they are. I'm not sure how I feel about that. They really are, though. My entire experience with the NRA was being a member of rifle teams. Oh, that makes sense that makes, that makes me sad. Me sad. Um, um, anyways, uh, uh, not, not really, really at all, all because the, the, uh, you, you, have you, have to, you have to realize, okay? okay? The, NRA the NRA pushes against, against, against even, even the most, like, like yeah. basic yeah. of regulation. So like, they push against regulation, but they push against regulation, but the official statement from the board in San Francisco was that they incite violence and tell their members to Commit, commit shootings. shootings. They, do they do not, not here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. They do, they do not, not explicitly tell their, tell their members to, to you know, commit, commit domestic terrorism, terrorism. but they do give them the means, they give them the platform, they defend them after the fact, after the fact and before the fact, the fact okay? okay? And, they and they do incite violence. Okay? okay? So, so I think it's Valid, valid to call, to call them. Like, I personally would not say they're domestic, domestic terrorist organization, but if someone says that, it's kind of hard to argue with all the facts on the table, because they, they kind of do. do. I think, I think it's one thing, I think domestic terrorists the, the means, means. It's one thing to, give people, to, to give people the means, because, because uh, giving, giving people the means would by definition, declare the CIA a ter ter terrorist organization. Well, well the, CIA the CIA is a terrorist organization. Yeah, yeah. A, lot a lot of countries even consider the CIA a terrorist organization. Like, yeah, but the CIA, yeah, but the CIA is a terrorist it, it doesn't matter. And, like, here's the thing, like, even if you wouldn't say, like, oh, them doing it in this country, you know, who cares? Who cares? Like, that, like that, that, it's a brutal, brutal dictatorship, dictatorship that they're trying to top, blah, 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 blah. Well, like, the thing that people have to remember is, like, United, United States, States government, government okay, okay, actually, actually really, really is the biggest, the biggest state sponsor of terrorism for one, for one reason. reason. <laughs> Where, Where did pretty, pretty much every uh, Muslim, Muslim extremist, extremist group in the Middle East, East get, their get their weapons? From us. From us. From us well, in well, the 80s. I, I, well, effectively, effectively, it was from, from us giving the Mujahideen weapons. Yeah. yeah. But the Mujahideen, the Mujahideen, okay, but the Mujahideen, Mujahideen disbanded. Okay. okay. And, and some of their weapons. Weapons. Actually, so, now, the now leaders of the Mujahideen were leaders in Al Qaeda afterwards. So here, you wonder what my favorite part is? The massive Somalian weapons dump. Yo, Somalia is literally like. I don't even know. Tony, are you aware of this? The the Soviet, the, the, so the Soviet Union to comply with international law after this, their disbandment. Uh, the, the, the previous members of the Soviet Union, in order to agree or meet the rules of requirement to join the UN, and I think some of them for NATO, had to dump massive amounts of Soviet-era weaponry. And so, and so there are there entire fields of Somalia, of Somalia that are literally just weapons, weapons dumps of, of perfectly, perfectly working weapons, weapons that, that just sit there. Sit there. Which is, Which is how, the how the Somali pirates, pirates came to be so heavily armed. armed. Uh -huh. they they so, so there are, that's pretty there crazy. Are, there are wharf, there are war jets, there are tanks, there are armored vehicles, there are RPGs, there are rifles. And it's, and it's just a, a huge stockpile. stockpile. It might actually, actually even just be the single, single largest, largest stockpile of weapons, weapons in the world. When was it uh, from, though? The, the, the 90s. Wouldn't, like, if they're just sitting there, like, wouldn't most of them rusted over by now? Uh, a lot of them... Well, well it depends. 
A lot of that stuff, stuff is built not, not to. to. Okay, that's completely well, fair. Well, it's not even that it's built not to, it's that especially And some of it is hijacked. Fair. Weaponry is effectively <laughs> built to work no matter what. Okay. Yeah, in, in extreme conditions. Mm. So because, of, because of the area it was primarily used in, you know? They're built to work under the extreme conditions. Yeah. Which means that even being rusted over, it could be as simple as taking a piece of scrap metal and fitting it inside the weapon to make it operate again. Okay. Them, I mean, fair. So, so yeah. yeah. Shout, Shout out, out Soviet, Soviet Union for effectively, outside, outside of America, America, being the largest, largest state sponsor of, of violence. They, they, they actually, it's not even that they're the largest state sponsor. sponsor. It's not it's even that they sold, sold them weapons. No, it's, it's, it's they gave, gave them weapons. Huh. Huh. I mean, we didn't, sell, we didn't sell them to the Mujahideen. We gave it to them. We gave him a lot. We gave him several, several billion dollars worth of weapons. It was $783 million. Dollars. No, it was not. the CIA official budget. No, it was not. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. The official, the official budget for a single fiscal, fiscal year. It was given out through Operation Cyclone, which lasted for seven years. Yes, yes, okay. I said, so, yeah, exactly. That was, that was supposed to be their budget? That was supposed to be their budget for the entire operation, uh, but the CIA ended up spending way too, way too much, much because the CIA, the CIA is above the law. A hundred percent. But no, but no let, me, let, me, let me even look. I'm going to see how long Operation Cyclone lasted. So, 1980 to 1987? No, I'm sorry. 1979 to 1989. So, 10 years. Here's, here's my real question, right? How, How come of all, all of the groups in this in country, country the, the CIA, CIA of, of all the federal organizations, organizations why is the CIA, CIA is the only one above the law? The law? In, 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 members of the NSA are quite, quite often arrested, arrested for committing for illegal, illegal acts. acts. The, the FBI is, is cracked down on quite hard. hard. But the CIA, ICE gets cracked down on. The CIA never gets cracked down on, though. Wow, wow. I, 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 I just, just like went to the because I, I went to the Wikipedia page for Operation Cyclone. Cyclone. It has, it has a, a list on the side: covert, covert United, United States involvement in regime change. change. <laughs> <laughs> and if, like, like when you put it all in a list here, here it's, it's so just so sad. sad. 1949, Albania. 1953, Iranian coup. 1954, Guatemalan coup. 1956, Syria crisis. 1957, Indonesian rebellion. 1959 to 2000, Cuba and assassination attempts on Fidel Castro. 1960, Congo coup. 1961, Bay of Pigs. 1961, Operation Mongoose. 1964, Brazilian coup. 1970, Chile. 1976, Argentina. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like two out of every, every five, five countries we visit is a success. Uh, and the other, the other, that's not great. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Does I'm, not, trying, I'm trying to think of which of those, those countries, countries are at least stable, stable domestically in the modern day. Okay, okay. Well, like, well, like stable, stable domestically in the modern day, day you could say, say Indonesia. I, I, I was gonna say you could say like Indonesia, Indonesia to an extent, extent but also, also not uh, really. Uh, Albania uh, is not financially stable, but I was gonna socially, say, they're stable. I was gonna say Albania, Albania is like social, social socially stable. stable. Uh, they, have uh, they have a they have a now growing, growing economy, economy, but, but their, their economy is in the shit. Yeah, I would say the most successful the most successful is definitely Chile because Chile is actually like a very successful country now. Um, at least for the last five years. Uh, I guess you could say Brazil. Kind of. Brazil is a first world country. Well, actually, no, they're not. Some parts, some parts. No, they're de it's definitely not, and and they're degrading. Like, yeah. after, dude, Bolsonaro is going to take that country to the grave. Yo, man. Sorry. He's like a we literal need, fascist. Brazil at this point. Not like, not like, like that, that great. It's, it's kind of sad to think about the fact that, that like, he's, he's like, like a literal, literal fascist, fascist, pretty much. Hey, you know what's going to happen when Brazil goes under? What? Portugal's gonna reclaim their territory. You're annoying. It's crazy, it's crazy to think about too, because like, like I've had this discussion. Like I don't, I don't like the whole like, like Donald Trump is a Nazi kind of thing. Like, like yeah, I disagree with him. Yeah, I think he has a lot of white supremacist views. But like I'll get into arguments with people that like I tend to agree with. I'd be like, I'd be like, okay, let's talk about like Brazil. Bolsonaro literally makes Donald Trump look like a liberal. Like he makes it look like Donald Trump is the most liberal person in the world. The issue. American, what is, what is considered centrist or conservative in America, in America is, is what would be is considered right. extremely, or well, what would, it is what would be considered extremely progressive 25 years ago. 
the, the Republican Party is, is effectively I mean, the, the Democratic Party of 30 years ago. I highly disagree. On social, on social, that, on social that depends on the issue. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Okay. okay. Maybe, Maybe in, in 2012? 2012? Yes. Because, yes. because, because they, started they started to lighten, so, so, lighten stances on social changes, changes like abortion, they slightly, slightly loosened. Okay. okay. And, like, and like gay marriage, they kind of loosened up in like 2012. But the 2016 Republican platform. The, the 20, all of the progress that the Republican Party underwent in the last 20, 20 years. The, 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 the fucking um, Republican Party platform in 2016 actually cited, and that's how I like thought about this earlier, cited three junk studies saying that straight parents do better than gay parents. Okay? Like, it, it, the, the, they completely regressed in 2016. There's been a massive argument that being gay is genetic. Which... So, so here's, here's what's funny. Then, then we all, all die out. A study was found, or a study, or a study that, was, that was, was, it could, yeah, it be, could be junk, it could, it could be not, not, but a lot but of gay, gay people are quoting this study, study. so, so psych, psych on them, on them it found, it found that, there that there are 10 genes that account for roughly 5 to 10 percent of the likelihood of someone being a homosexual. That's not and that the other 90 to 95 percent is their environmental upbringing. Did you see that, uh... That, that AI, AI that, can, that tell can tell from a facial, facial scan with 93% accuracy, accuracy someone's, someone's sexual, sexual orientation. orientation. That's great. That's great. 93% accuracy, I believe yeah. it was. Yeah. Let's see. Um, AI, AI and AI. Let's see. I'm trying to, I'm trying find, to find out, out where, where it is. is. No. No. There, that is, that is uh, claims, claims to, dis to, dis to dispel the notion, the notion that a single gene, gene or handful of genes make a person prone to same 91% accuracy. accuracy. Sorry. Sorry. To, the analysis which examined the genomes of nearly half a million men and women found that all those genes are should involved in who choose to have sex. In who people choose to have sex with, there are no specific genetic predictors. And, they, and they, the, conclusion the conclusion was that, that and this was, and this was, this was, this was done via 23 and me's DNA, DNA samples. samples. Uh, the conclusion was that it's almost entirely environmental, and children who are exposed to more gay people as a uh, during their youth are more likely to be gay as an adult. I mean. I mean. I could, I could easily refute the whole more, more likely to be gay just, just by the fact that, yeah, yeah, because that means that they're accepting sexuality, and, and if, they if they are gay, gay they are less likely to stay in the closet or repress like homosexual That almost just like feelings. feels like you, um, I don't know, like, because it's like, alright, you know that homosexuality is a thing, oh yeah, you're more likely to be gay because you know it exists. Exactly. exactly. You know other, other people, people are likely, likely like, like you, and you are less scared. scared. So, 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 to, 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 here's, here's how I feel about it. To an extent, I can believe that people are born gay, but I also feel that there are people who can, can make the choice to... I, they, I, might they, might be, be, they might not be homosexual, they might not be sexually attracted to men, but people can make the choice to only have sex with men. I mean, a man can make the choice to only have sex with other men, whether or not he finds other men sexually appealing. I mean... We I mean, supposedly I guess, are creatures like, of free not, will, so yeah, that's, um, not, that's, not, that's not necessarily being homosexual. No, I mean like you could. I, I guess, guess like you theoretically you could just decide to do whatever you want sexually. Um, there was, there was, yeah, there was a kid in my high school. school. I don't know uh, why you would do stuff you're not into, but. Because, because he, he ate, he, this is what, this is what happened. He ate his girlfriend out, decided to pussy with girls, broke up with her, and. Dated, dated and, and became, became a, top a top to the other gay kids in school. school. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, but and but he claims, he claims that he's not attracted to them, but he can, he can just, just do it, do it anyway. anyway. Okay. okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. Anyways, um, <laughs> the, I guess I guess the idea is push these girls, so I'm only fuck, fuck men. I would, I would really like, like to see, like, like specifically, because we're on this topic now, of like, of like the, the LGBT science. science. There, was there was a couple studies a few years ago, like probably like two years ago. There was like three studies I want to say um, that pointed to a link between like the amount and the structure of gray matter in your brain. Okay. Okay. Um, and, specifically and specifically found anomalies in transgender people. people. Um, and it's yeah, a study that can only be performed after the person is dead because it requires, like, literally slicing your skull open. open. The okay. amount okay. of, like, causative errors you'd have to rule out 
Exactly. exactly. And like the That's sample size, it's, it's, and then exactly. like the ability to repeat exactly. study exactly. is in most, 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 most of these studies, the sample size is like, is like they, have, they have you know, you know a couple thousand, thousand uh, 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 like, cis like cisgendered Americans, Americans and, then and then they have like sixty. Yeah, I can you imagine them having exactly more than sixty or like even like ten. I'd love to see the data. Yeah, it's just like so. Yeah, there there are a lot of. That's what I'm saying. Like there needs to be so much more research. It's very interesting. Would I don't think we're at a place in society where that is possible. Was there study last year that concluded that? Gay, gay men, men have, have brains, brains that, that where their, their brain, brain activates in a more, in a more similar, similar fashion to a straight woman than it does a straight man. Nope, nope, that was also about transgenders. That was also, that was also about, about transgenders? transgenders. Yeah. Yeah. Specifically, Specifically, there was one last year that, year that came out about brain structure. Brain structure. Okay. okay. Um, and through and x-rays and also, and also once, again, once again, cutting, cutting skulls open after death. They had, they had for transgenders that the structural, structural layout, layout of the brain more closely, closely aligned with like, like the, sex the sex they identified. That with. see, like to me though, that would make sense. Yeah, Obviously, it, it like, like I have no idea what um, I'm talking but about but from no, a science yeah, perspective. No, like, but like, you would assume that if someone was transgender, transgender and they yeah. if you if you entirely that embodied themselves as you know, it's like, a solid like hypothesis i have no i don't yeah that's really where it's just like to take on that level of research i can only imagine though like because you'd have to have like uh, i forget the word for it because i'm tired but like checks checkpoints so it's just like okay Mm -hmm. genetic screaming screening okay like other things you're testing for uh to compare i guess like data wise so like i don't Mm -hmm. know conditions of the brain that would alter gray matter but let's say that there's some kind of inheritable disease or genetic disorder yeah yeah um let's say that you know a percentage of your sample size that you're pulling from has that yeah yeah has this this anomaly. that can absolutely skew results yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what i'm saying though like it's a very, it's a very interesting concept, concept but there's just, but there's just so, so limited, limited amount, amount of research, research that has been done, done and, and that can really like feasibly be done, done. that's yeah. why i was like once. trying to say before i don't think we're at a place in society but one day where no, 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 like no, no, we're no, definitely one, not one yet hopefully one yeah. day yeah. like i guess well, that's hopefully, when but, when i look at technology and the way that we're already like changing how we look at disease mental illness brain imaging it's just like oh i can't imagine like 30 years from now what it's going to be like mm-hmm. yeah it is. Well, like, well like specifically the, the, the common trope is that like the entire, the entire store, store of human knowledge, knowledge doubles, doubles every, every 10, 10 to 15, 15 years. years i believe it at like, at, like in current, current, current times all right um, all right so tony, tony we need to, to get, someone get someone to play, to play tomorrow because ethan, ethan can't do it at the time uh i'm pretty sure we have five for tomorrow i thought i thought you just said you can't play no that was tonight tonight Oh, that's, oh, that's tonight? tonight? Okay. Okay, 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 okay never mind. Yeah, because uh, Farrakh asked, tonight, I, I someone see. asked if we were scrimming tonight, I think, and I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, Farrakh, I'm, I I'm at Brecken's house, I don't have a keyboard, I don't have a mouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I thought that's a tomorrow. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm 100% fine for tomorrow, yeah. Um, <sighs> and did uh, did you ever get him on the roster? Yes, yes, he's gonna pay his league piece. Oh, is he already on the roster? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gave him the password just Nice. Two days ago. All right, all right, so Chance, our official sixth is... Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, Look at that. Ethan. Is there six men? Yeah, yeah Ethanol, not the, the good, the good Ethan. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, I don't think I played with him. Uh, he might have filled in for Chance, to be completely honest. I think he, he probably filled in. He was probably that man left when Farrick was late. No, that was, uh... Yeah, I, I think we played with Tremble K. K. Uh, that night. No, we played, no, we played, yeah, we played with Tremble. He was a yeah, tryout. Yeah, okay. um, Either way, I wasn't. I must not have been around. No, no, no. Uh, so, uh, so I told, I told Ethan, Tony, Ethan, Tony that, that this is this is what's, what's likely, likely to happen. To happen. He's, He's likely, likely to be just, just a sixth. But I told him that it's also possible at some point he might be called up to be a starter. Yeah, that's 100 percent the role of the sixth person. Um, on the uh, team, well, well, um, I, 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 I told him that he he has to be prepared to either play as an entry or a support. Yeah, that gets yeah, yeah. that would yeah. really because um because it's, 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 it's at this point it literally is gamble or Farrick. Yeah, um, and uh, usually like if say chance if you weren't going to be around for a match, 
Um, yeah. Ares usually picks up Alping. Um, yeah, we like Alping. We really have enough of, so he doesn't obviously have to prepare for Alping. Oh, oh. But um, he does a trash hopper. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank God. You know, I was just saying regardless that like we have <laughs> is, enough Alping. He's not, he's not gonna be like. Uh, what was that, what was that guy's name? Ace. Ace? Oh, oh, Grimes? Yeah, yeah dude, fuck Grimes. That kid's annoying. I, the, no, yeah, yeah, the guy that, like, he was, he was on mic back before, before constantly. Yeah, 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 um... Constantly. It's just like, no, I'm keeping, keeping it. So I played with him, yeah, like, Ares, I think I played with him on the team after you would have played with him on the team. I um, played, yeah, one minute. Yeah, yeah I, had I had him on my team in season 27. Ooh, maybe? Did I play with him before then, then? And then, and then probably. we played on your, on your team. team. Because I actually, I actually Wait, technically... You team lifestyle or 5150? Uh, lifestyle with them. I was technically oh, on his team. Lifestyle, lifestyle still exists. Yeah, they're um, in IM as well. Yeah, I yeah. What, what season did you play with him? Uh, the uh, the season, season after you. Okay, so yeah, I was going to say, I did yeah, play with yeah, him before he, he did then. He joined, he joined our team and then told us that he was retired. And then just disappeared. Entirely. Entirely. Literally yeah, so the issue with him on the team that he ne never worked, um, he, he was would so never hard. show up to practice. Um, yeah, yeah. He very skilled individual player. Um, oh, yeah, he was good, but he didn't listen. Like, no, he didn't listen to anything. Um, yeah, it's just not and, really and a team like, it was, it was kind of guy. It was funny, too, because like, I, remember I remember when we played with him, it wasn't, it wasn't even like a ferric or like a, or like a, a, a Cullen not listening. Not listening. Where he'd be like, hey, can I do this instead? Yeah, he would just not say anything, anything and just go off, anything 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 go off on his own. Yeah. Kind of not the kind of person, really. Yeah. yeah. So, it so it wasn't that epic, but it happens. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm happy for him that he's his team also made I am. Um, but I'm not just a cook. Are you, are you, he was, he was quite, quite possibly the most annoying, annoying person, person I've ever played. played. You know who yeah, reached out, out, out to me? I don't know if, I don't he, know ever, if he ever, ever messaged you. you. Tony. Tony. Who? Because I told him to message you like two days ago, three days ago, something like that. Anthem. Anthem. To join, to join our team? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Put Anthem, Put Anthem on the team. Yeah, I don't care if he joins. Okay, I was like, really? Ask me if he's like still interested. Yeah. I'm literally just telling our, 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 tell our, our roster PW. Okay, well, don't don't yet. Um, ask him first if he has interest, and if he does, tell him to message me first. Because yeah, I would, yeah, I would I like to talk to him. I, 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 I said, like, do you have Hydra added on Steam? And he said, yeah, message, message. Yeah, all you got to just tell him to reach out to me. Because I guess he left his team. Because I also want to explain a few things first, because depending on what he's okay with, like, because I... Because we already have our six person, five, five, and like uh, and kind of this, this, this is this is the play. So he hasn't, he hasn't left his team yet, yet but I know but that, I know that he's Anthem. Anthem. Yeah, he, yeah, he, Anthem. Anthem. he told me that he did. He might not have lost the roster though. No, he hasn't lost the roster, but I know the guys he plays with. I've been on a team with a few of them in the past with Anthem, like T Spencer and Karma. <laughs> oh, and, and the, the, the entire, entire issue with Anthem, with Anthem is that he's played with these guys for so long, for so long and, and, and nothing, nothing has changed. changed. They're all still retarded. No. Oh. And, and here's, 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 here's um, um. This is this is this is the this is the, 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 the facts. If Anthem, if Anthem joins, joins our roster, he's, he's, I think we should, we should have him be a coach. Because Anthem's smart, but he's completely incapable of fragging. Yeah, he's, not, yeah, the he's not the best fragger. No, no chance. It's not even that he's not, not the best fragger. He, he averages like 53 ADR, ADR in open. Uh, uh, let's, 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 take let's take a look. look. The, the highest, highest he's, he's ever had in terms of RWS, RWS in open was 10, was 10 uh, in season 28, <laughs> and he had uh, 66 ADR. ADR. Anthem, Anthem is not a fragger. Anthem is a big brain, but not a fragger. Yeah. That's true. He's a coach. He's a coach. Um, Amazing. Last year, he had 61 ADR. That's a tough. That's a toughie, bro. That's a, that's a mad toughie. toughie. Let's, be let's be honest. Was he playing as uh, like in-game leader though, or? Yeah. 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 He will still. <laughs> you had actually, actually you, had like you had like 70 though last season. Uh, I can check. I'm not actually. Let me see. 
I was say, you can check. I don't, I don't think mine was good last season. I have no idea. League history. I know, I know that, that Farrakh had decent because he was on the team. He was on the team for like two matches. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Nane had, had really good, but Nane was also literally... Nane played like three or four matches? Nane played like six. Did he really? Okay. He, played, he has 130 rounds played. Okay. He had 104 ADR. The only issue is that Nane played extremely aggressive. Yeah. Comparatively, comparatively. Mm. And, didn't and didn't have, have as many multi kill rounds. Do you want to hear something sad? What? What? My, My ADR, ADR has consistently, consistently gone down, down since the last three seasons. seasons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had, you had, you had 62 <laughs> ADR. Oh, okay. But you're also, but you're also color blind, and as you can color. see, color. Gamble, Gamble <laughs> had 66. This past, this past season? season? Uh, yeah. This past well, season, for me, it says 60, like 64, yeah, Gimble, but... Gimble won 10 clutches. I won 4 1v1s and 1v2s, but I feel like most of the, most of the clutches I won were 1v3 or 1v4. Yeah, no, Tony, mine says 62 for you. Okay. My, maybe it's because maybe yours is including playoffs. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, something like that. Who knows? You know, I, you know, I, 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 I am really, really kind of amazed, amazed by this, by this because, because I feel like if ESCA included like 1v3s and 1v4s, I feel like I'd have a much better understanding of my clutches because I feel like I definitely won more than four clutches last season. Okay, okay, so it's funny when you look at last season, okay, for like 1v1s, all that shit. Okay, like Cullen, 1v1s, 1, Nane, 4, Ferry, 2, Amp, 9. Yeah, I, yeah I, I feel like all of my clutches come from like 1v3s and 1v4s. Gamble has like half of his is 1v5s. I have 4 1v2s. Yeah, yeah, Gamble, Gamble is, is somehow, somehow really good, really good in like, like clutches. Only, only I don't understand one, how. It's, it's, I think it's just Gamble, like, like half the time Gamble makes a record play. Gamble. It's not even that he, he, he makes a he takes a gamble, gamble on his play. He, he makes a really dumb, dumb play, but the dumb, but the dumb play is so high IQ that, that no one could predict it. it. Or, or maybe it's just so low IQ, IQ that it resembles high IQ play. Dude, post post season I had highest ADR in the playoffs. In the playoffs. You're welcome, bros. You're welcome, bros. Yeah, you actually started playing really, really well in uh, playoffs. Yeah, the, the regular season I had. Hold on. Regular, regular season, season I had 69, 69 and, I and I brought it up like three, three points because I had, I had, I had 79, 79 in postseason. Yeah, yeah, 70, that was, that was tough. Well, well, it, well, well it, also it also counts that last match where we got, match where we got kind of dicked. Obliterated. Yeah. 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 You also had, you also more, had kills, more kills, but you were playing a lot better. What, for, what, for postseason? postseason? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, postseason I was, I was popping off. Well, that was also, well, that was also because, like, that was also at that the point... Best you had played all season. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah. And at that point, well, 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 well during the rest of the season, also, also like, I was like, like, I was like damn, damn it, we're fucking gonna not make playoffs. And I was like, so little motivation. When I realized, like, how close we were to making playoffs, I was like, okay, I have to, like, I have to step it up. I've been playing like shit, I need to... Play better because this has not, not been my season. I don't. I don't. One point six three KD to the regular season. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's do that, that again. Actually, <laughs> I'd have to play, play uh, like like playoffs, playoffs or above level. level. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> that, 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 that was actually something, chance. chance. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think at one point, point in time last season, last season it had been discussed. It was one it was of, one of, it was one of Nap's, Nap's conditions. Nap had told me that, told me that if he was gonna stay, he wanted, he wanted to, replace to replace you as an opper because, because you just were not playing consistently. consistently. I know he never I mean, mentioned, I mean, mentioned that to me because I wouldn't. He said that to me after he left. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it because I was pretty shit for most of the season. Here's the thing. Like, I specific. I, I'm pretty sure I specifically talked to Tony about leaving at one point. Because two oh, seasons ago, right? In season thirty. It's not that you played like trash, but you played really, really bad, like half the maps. But you played above and beyond the other half of the maps. Yeah. I always had a consistency issue, though. I think I'm trying, I'm trying to, like, I'm getting, like, I'm getting better, better, but I've always, I've always had a consistency issue. issue. Did I Did so I have so many fucking multi kills in that season? I had 23 keys, I had, keys, keys, I had 5 4 keys, keys and 1 5k. K. And, then and then last season, season I, had I had 33 keys and 4 4k's four 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 and not a single lace. Rip? Huh. Huh. Alright, well, I think I actually I'm going to end the podcast here, by the way.
because we're still yeah, rocking on, but with our season, yeah, our season talk. Yeah, Everyone uh, better tune in to uh, Twitch.tv slash Chances Trance for our matches. You know, you know what's really crazy to me about season 30? What? Um, Adam, Adam had the second, second highest ADR. ADR, ADR of everyone on the team. Adam, not, not, not ADR. Uh, uh, yeah, Adam played Adam's really nuts. well when he was. When Farrakh, when Farrakh wasn't, on wasn't on the team. For a while. When Farrakh, when Farrakh, like, like when Farrakh, Farrakh was not on the team, team Adam started Adam playing better. Yo, yo, take the Nookers. Forty-six rounds played, fifteen kills. Yeah, that's that's unfortunately like. Wait, yo, 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 Joe the MLG Pro had 46 rounds played and had 26 kills. Same number, Same number of rounds, way better, way better kills. kills. Yeah. Even Spicy, that kid who played one game with us, had, like, had 10 kills yeah. in the 20 rounds he played. Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode. This is episode 296. Thank you guys for being on. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, bye! Boy! 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 Pickle